Yo, what is going on, you guys? It is Rush here, and welcome back to the video. Here on some more Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Before we continue on today's video, make sure if you guys haven't already, you guys got a million, you guys drop a like for the content that we post on this channel. Also, make sure if you guys haven't already, you guys go down below, you guys join the family, drop a sub, and turn on the post notifications bell. Because here on the channel, we post Call of Duty content, varying from Warzone to Black Ops Cold War to any new releases within the Call of Duty franchise. And as you guys can see, in today's video, we're going to be covering the Marshall shotguns, the new best secondary to run in Black Ops Cold War. Now, I've seen a lot of videos and things on this Marshall shotguns within Black Ops cold war and i have seen everyone building the wrong class setup for these martial shotguns now there is only one attachment that you guys will need to change compared to everyone else's class setups that will make a huge difference in your guys's martial gameplay and you guys will just be blown away by the difference between the old class setup that everyone else uses and my class setup that i change and it's one attachment that makes a big key difference so in today's video we drop a nuclear gameplay going 80 plus kills with the martial shotgun and we actually almost choked the nuke at the end so make sure that you guys stay tuned to see how we did not choke the nuke with these martial shotguns everyone is using them in nuketown right now now that double xp is out so make sure that you guys go into nuketown and make sure you guys level up these shotguns so that way you guys can use them whether it's in multiplayer or zombies because these shotguns and zombies are also really good for taking out bosses like the orba and etc right, you guys i know that we're a little bit late we're, we're like a few days late i know i know but in today's video we're going to be covering the best secondaries in the game literally better than the magnums after the magnums got nerfed a few seasons ago these things are the new magnums and this is initially what the magnums were supposed to be and what these are is these are the magnums from black ops 3 now if you guys play black ops 3 you guys will know that black ops 3 actually had a pistol that emitted shotgun shells and it was so overpowered everyone was using them and as you guys can see they did exactly what uh these pistols right here are doing you could run two of them and you could just run a kimo of them and you could just one shot people but the only difference is that they actually tried to balance these things in cold war in black ops 3 they were not balanced. In Black Ops 3, truth be told, these things would be able to one-shot from so far away. It was very difficult to actually go up against them. And it's just hilarious because these things are freaking insane. I have so much fun playing with them. I almost dropped a new glass game with them. So we would have got our first at gameplay. Like, first, yeah, see, that guy just killed me with it. Look at this. He doesn't have the Akimbo variations, though. He actually has to get, like, super close to kill. While me, I just have to use two of them. So it's a lot easier for me. You see, I can one-shot from farther. And a lot of people are also going to try to give you guys a class with a shortened barrel. Do not use the shortened barrel. As you guys can see, if you guys use the shortened barrel, it's kind of like using the cut barrel on the 725. It's good if you're up close because you get all those pluses and stuff, but it's not worth it. And let me tell you guys why it's not worth it. And the reason why it's not worth it is because you guys cannot freaking one shot from afar. And to, you guys have to close the gap in order to get one shot kills with the cut down barrel. If you guys don't use the cut down barrel and you guys use the one that i'm about to show you guys you guys are going to be getting a lot more consistent one shots and you guys are going to be taking out people from distances just like that that i just showed you right there oh my god this guy is just freaking crapping on me i just need my streaks and i could go easily that's all i need just my streaks yep yes sir oh that guy took my guns Unless that's the unless those are his own because if those are his own we gotta kinda watch out for him. <laughs> kinda have to watch okay, you also have to keep on getting ammo, because if you don't get ammo, you're kinda screwed. Ah oh, my god. Okay, we got our war machine, we got our hand cannon, we're gonna get on like a little 5 to 10 kill streak it depends on the situation and we're just gonna go off after that because once I got my kill streaks up it's game over get off of me stop using my gun like these things are it's kind of those things guys where they're just oh my god man. see he has a singular one that's the thing he's trying to level them up this is just kind of one of those things guys where it's overpowered but you don't want it to be used on you like it's so fun to use but when you have them used on you it's so annoying it's off of us, bro. Okay, I'm gonna use my ranged weapon just a little bit here, probably. Just to push up a little bit, buy some time. Okay, 
Alright, first round was a little bit tough, but we still have our second round to do good. Oh, come on, bro. We can drop this nuke. I know Secure we can. But I want to get on a good, decent streak before we start using all our Securing score streaks because like, I just feel like if we Enemy don't, then, we're gonna, then I'm going to choke. Like, This is a good streak. Bravo secure. Detected. Oh my god, dude, I'm surrounded by them. I'll make up for these kills after this, boys. I just, I need this move, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I almost choked! Boys, I almost choked the nuke! Holy cow, bro! Like, I actually almost choked the nuke! Well, I'm disappointed in myself! Oh my god! I think I missed out on like three kills. So I'll make up those three kills right now. Yeah, there, there's a uh, one. I think I already got the three kills, but I'm just gonna do it just to clarify. Yeah, it's our. Get a little feed with this thing going. Yes, sir. Oh, my God, we called in the new blade. It's fine, though. Job, CIA. Wow, 88 and 16 with Mission these new shotguns, bro. I got the nuke. I wasn't able to call it in, but you guys saw I got the nuke. Hey, GG's. The new shotguns, OP. As you guys can see, with this class setup, you got some good distance. So I'm gonna show you guys this class setup. And you guys will try it out for yourselves once you guys get this thing leveled up. Double Weapon XP is currently live right now in Black Ops Cold War. So make sure that you guys go and level these things up because these things are definitely meta. And if you guys are also zombie fans, these things are insane when going against zombies as well and really easy to get Dark Ether on. The correct class setup that you guys are gonna want to be running instead of using the cut down barrel. Look at that. You only get a little bit of fire rate. With fire rate doesn't really matter too much with this shotgun, guys. All that really matters is if you guys can kill the enemies as soon as you guys see them so what you guys are going to want to use instead of the fire rate 
is you guys are going to want to use the extended barrel now look at how much more effective damage range that you get with this extended barrel this means that you're gonna be able to take out your enemies farther with this shotgun and if one wasn't enough you got two and you got two in each magazine for this shotgun so you guys are gonna want to plop on the extended barrel you guys are also gonna want to use the dragon's breath you guys are want to use the dragon's breath rounds because this gives 17 percent damage now i know you lose negative eight percent effective damage range but that seven percent 17 percent damage actually comes in really really clutch guys so you guys are also going to want to make sure that you guys use this and your final attachment of course is the dual wield attachment just so that you guys can run two shotguns at once and you guys will just be absolutely torquing on enemies with this fire shotgun so you guys that is the best and the uh i don't know if this is considered new anymore but it is the new Marshall shotguns just from BO just like from BO3. I hope you guys did go on to enjoy the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys go down below, drop a like, and smash the subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications as well. We have a lot more videos coming here on the channel. I'm sorry for being inconsistent again. School has started back up and I am a junior in high school, so it is very, very hard for me to balance it all out. But as you guys can see, I'm going to have a new video also out tomorrow because I pre-recorded all these videos just for you guys. And hey you guys, I hope you guys do go on to enjoy the rest of your night or day, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Later guys.